Hey, welcome back to VMworld 2013. This is theCUBE, live in San Francisco, California, Moscone South Lobby. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host, Dave Vellante at wikibon.org. Hi everybody, we're going to talk flash with Ken Groe. He's here from Virenet. He's the worldwide vice president of customer ops. Ken, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, for a long time watcher. Glad to be oh, finally here. Awesome. Great timing. Great. Thank you for everything watching. happens Thanks. right here. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. Yeah, so uh, you're in a, Obviously, smoking hot space. We've been talking about you know, Flash all week. Uh, you saw the announcements of uh, you know, vSAN from, from VMware. That's you know, great news for you guys. And um, Just you know, give us the update on, on Viren. And you guys have you know, really, you know, we know Mike, saw Mike come on, all of a sudden things started happening and uh, did the deal with Seagate. So what's, what's the latest? Well, the crux is numbers, numbers speak more than anything. So I'm pleased to see that uh, our company's grown 300% this year, which is a huge change. And uh, I realize Flash is everything. If you walk the floor right now, and there's a lot of vibe, I think about 23,000 people across mm -hmm. the show, I think almost 80% almost of the exhibitors are all around Flash. <laughs> so the, the good news about Veritin though is we're really beginning to invest, we started general availability of our, our Flash Max Connect software as of April. So there's a lot of uh, talk about creating a Flash platform, but really we're really walking the walk now uh, by having the product available, having our high availability software available, having our shareability software. So it's not just selling Flash for the performance aspects, Dave. It's really building and creating and leading a Flash platform transformation. And that's where we're going to get through, I think you've talked about prior questions about how do we get it to the enterprise space? So the web scale, I think we all know, is all PCI uh, Flash based. But how do we get to the brick and mortar enterprise space? And I think the familiarity of getting to a platform that looks like a SAN, that feels like a SAN, and has the data services of a SAN, with, albeit with the respect of the performance at microseconds that Flash, and only PCI Flash can provide from Veriden, I think that's how you get to the enterprise accounts that everyone would like to see. Yeah, so I mean, when you talk to the people in the labs, they, they tout your product as you know, one of the best, if not the best out there. But um, So that, that Flash transformation, that's largely software led. Right, Absolutely. So Good talk catch. about that a little bit. Well, it, it has to be software-led because at some point, you, basically if you, one of the troubles we have going through is do you want to buy a flash array? And some of the end users might say, where's PCI flash makes more sense. Where it does make more sense is your heritage behind it. If you want to get closer to the app and you want to be closer to the actual performance behind it, you want to get that performance, but you also want the familiarity so you can go back to the IT director or the SAN administrator and have the same type of data services or high availability that you might be accustomed to and so that kind of bridges the gap between the person who's representing or maybe being the database administrator or maybe the application owner or actually the people that are administrating the SAN. So I mentioned the word transformation because I just didn't talk about how we're transforming the data center with Flash and getting it greener. I talk about how the people who manage the storage, how they need to be professionally transformed. Uh, I, I liken it to, uh, we've been in the business for a while, I liken it to back when the first SANs were sold. People were putting RAID port storage out there. But it wasn't until the transformation happened to SAN and the IT professionals actually had to decide how you can have networking and actually have that available to everybody. That transformation's happening today, but with Flash, the building blocks PCI Flash. Our company's uniquely equipped to actually bring out, uh, for lack of a better word, a Veritas-like, what they do on the SAN basis, but actually have the high availability software, the shareability software actually in place so people can have the comfort and the familiarity with the actual uh, SAN in place uh, and have the speed as far as PCI Flash. Ken, talk about the, um, the dynamic in the marketplace. Obviously, Viridian is, is a, I, I always talk, tell entrepreneurs this. You get in the market, if you're an entrepreneur, you build a company, you got to get on the field. You Correct. can't score a touchdown or hit a home run if you're not swinging at the plate or being on the field. You can't really do anything from the stands. You guys hit the flash thermal growth. Like, all of a sudden the market was just realized, spun in your direction, your technology right there, you were right where the puck came to you, as they say in the Wayne Gretzky analogy. Mm -hmm. You guys were where the puck, you skated to where the puck was coming. Mm -hmm. What is it about Viridin that makes it today really hot? I mean, you guys are growing, got good growth. 
Sure. Six, what's, what's 300% the, growth, sure. What's the 300% growth reason why the customers are buying? Tell, share with the audience out there why, well, three, and, three, and, and what it is. Thanks for the question, John, I appreciate it, and thanks for acknowledging our growth. And I, uh, shout out to our founders, uh, Kumar and Vijay, who started this company seven years ago, and then basically moved, morphed it from NorFlash and the appliance over to PCI Flash two years ago. But the reason for the growth is really threefold. First off, so if you're an OEM, you really resonate with the fact that you've got unconditional performance. At the, the higher you beat up this card, the more there as an OEM would actually perform better for their applications. And that, that's why we're becoming a choice, given the flash marketplace that's out there. So number, performance number one. Oh, uh, unconditioned performance. If you okay. go to our website, that's our tagline, unconditioned performance. However, you mentioned Brent, Wayne Gretzky going where the puck's going to. Where the puck's going to, and I think where you'll see our tagline kind of move towards, is more of a uh, leading the flash platform transformation. So what I mean by that, it's, it's the integrations, Dave, you mentioned before, with high availability, with shareability, with caching software, at the kernel level, actually at the, the actual design for Flash, having that available so you actually can make that transition, so no longer you're clinging on to the sand tree, you move into the performance of actual Flash. So that helps in the end user, and what I've kind of done since I moved over in May, is build what I think is a pretty good end user sales force, and uh, September 10th we'll talk about a partner community we'll be building as well, but if you get the end user, that creates the demand. We're bringing on more, more and more OEMs. I mentioned this card before. So you got OEM, OEMs, direct sales? End user, direct sales. In, indirect? Indirect, indirect will be announced September 10th. We are doing a channel So Ken, well. who are some of your big customers? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a big OEM EMC, yes. Uh, EMC, okay. Uh, so if you know Extreme Server Flash, that's of course, it. Yeah. We just got uh, a scoop, I'm, EMC's doing it. Yeah, so, and then um, Seagate, of course, X8, their product. We're very happy to be, um, uh, one of the providers of them is an OEM, but over 50% of our sales to date have been to the direct end users. That's where a big part of our business, and that's, that's where it really resonates with people. If you look, I think Pat's first slide was, he talked about how the application is going from first to second to third. It's all consumer based, it's all, I carry an iPhone 5 everywhere I go and I, I try to work at that type of real time speed. With that type of transition to consumerized type applications, you need a third generation type you know, building blocks, and that would be PCI Flash by Verdant. So I wonder if we could uh, unpack a little bit more how you guys differentiate. John and I have been talking all week. We, you know, we just, just had Jerry on from uh, Craylock, just talking about the number I heard of players. really of thought players. It, was, it was a big in, in, flyer. And yeah, but of course the, uh, the flip side of that is people saying, geez, like the Winchester disk drives of the 1980s, you had 80 companies, and, and you know, can the market sustain them all? So, so how do you guys differentiate from all the, you know, we always say extract the signal from the noise. How do you differentiate from the other players out there? Well, first off, for the people who know the business, the people that buy and buy the, the pallet full, um, let's call it the scale-out accounts, the people mm -hmm. that are leading us there, you, you've probably named the names before, um, those customers, the flash innovators that are buying pervasive flash, they're the people who enjoy using the customer, using the actual product itself, because it's got the highest high-end performance. So unconditional performance, you don't have the outliers, um, the more you hit it with the high thread writes, the high thread reads, that's where we really shine. So thanks for noticing that. As far as the customer base, I mean, the ability to have a V-caching product with a write back, no one else has, well, we're one of two players that have that. As far as the VHA software, it's uniquely positioned so you have the same familiarity out there. And then every time we give an end user presentation for my Salesforce, when they see the V-sharing capability as far as software, that's truly unique, Dave, in the talk, marketplace. Talk about that V-caching with the write back. As like okay. you said, that's unique. So describe what that is and, and what makes it so hard. Well, the reason why it's hard is you've got to have it so it conforms to the existing systems. You have to have uh, in place so that the actual methodology in place as far as the applications in the accounts, uh, you're used to having different situations where you have the, the same familiarity, the same data services you have in place. With write back, you have different choices. You have write through, you have write around, or write back cache. And the fact that we've been in the flashing business, you mentioned and acknowledged the newer appliance with our founders, that, you know, this is, this is known our first first attempt in the Flash marketplace. We've been in the business in five years before we went to PCI Flash. Yeah. We can do the hard business and we can do the different choices for customers, whether it be right back, right through, or right around as far as the V-caching. Yeah. But the truth is, when we go in and use our sales calls, they always resonate around shareability. They like the fact that you can put, this is a 2.2 terabyte card. They like they can share some of the namespaces, and we call them V-shares, across the different, so you actually have a shared pool of uh, V-spaces around the different pool of Flash. I think uh, earlier today, I, I know Carl mentioned it, I know Pat mentioned it yesterday, that's truly unique for us, the ability to share and access this across more users, because you had mentioned, I think when the RAID vendors were out there, there was like 20 something RAID vendors, but then after the change to the same marketplace, it got down to two or three, mm -hmm. I think you're going to see that type of change around Flash as well. There are five or six Flash, PCI Flash vendors, I, I think we're going to be one of the three or four that people built, bet their business on, 
because we have the familiarity of having that software and that's where our investments are. Ken, talk about um, something that's, I'm always going to stickler on like buzzwords, but, and, but it, some of these things matter. High availability. Matters, un um, unquestioned. Is a word that's like a punchline. It's like cost of ownership. It does, it's relevant, but I want to ask you specifically, what has changed in the current marketplace around high availability? I mean, high availability is a table stakes kind of deal for a lot of the infrastructure side. I mean, that's a goal. We, everyone, everyone wants high availability. It's like freedom, right? So, so but what is about high availability today well, that's different than it was a couple years ago. I'll give a tangible example. One of our best use cases with the VHA software that you just mentioned as well is Oracle Rack. Some of our customers want the demands of Oracle Rack and the rigid, the way that that can seamlessly work in their environment. And, and to be blunt with you, you get the speed of PCI Flash, but the affordability of putting you know, a few cards in your environment and have that be able to do it, but you have the blessing and the endorsement of actually having a Rack environment have it out there. So, that's the way I view high availability, at the highest levels, five nines type availability where the customers can depend upon it. And that's something you guys pitch a lot with your clients? All day, it's, that's probably, our, one. It's probably our second most proficient uh, so use case. performance and there. high availability kind of go hand in hand. I mean, well sometimes they don't. I mean, some people don't have high availability. If they don't go down, they're not performing. So it's kind of like a you know, it's, it's, implied it's, benefit. Yeah, John, it's, it's, it's database. It's, uh, we're doing great in the e-tailing marketplace. So think the bricks and mortar type companies that are putting a front end that looks amazing like Google, or amazing like Amazon, or amazing like Facebook, but they're still the large retailers you might go shop on a weekend okay. with. So, so, it's, so the, it's pe e the people at the show are, are talking about two major themes we're hearing. Follow the applications, application True. centric infrastructure, and enabling infrastructure that's going to be available to enable the apps to basically run DevOps and or create infrastructure. So, so what are you guys doing? What's the, what's the innovation strategy around the, around the enabling the middle of the stack? Because VMware, VMware can't get to the top of the stack and innovate until they fix the middle of the stack, which is performance, availability, but enabling apps. Flash seems to really sit beautifully for the apps. It's like a memory tier, it's not, also you can put it for disk. So what do you guys, doing in that area? What can you talk about for well, customers? Whatever we can do to make it seamless, so people enjoy using vMotion, what we can do to enjoy so that it's seamless for vMotion. I mentioned Oracle Rack before. Um, one thing I'd like to do is, in my, in my past, we enjoyed seeing VMware, and I think Pat went through the slides before, where VMware has got to a point there's more virtual servers in place than physical servers. I think, what, three, four years ago, it went above 50%. Merit's, Merit's, Merit's talk, 2010, Merit's talk, okay, 2010. Okay, thank you. So what we need to do, and the value we provide to our OEM partners and our end users, that last 25%, so even the most proficient virtualized customer out there, they need that last inhibitor to get their tier one critical applications fully virtualized, and I think it's one of the mantras that I know Carl was talking about, Pat was talking about, this flash technology is gets the mission critical application so they can be virtualized as well. Because I think this whole robust environment here, 23,000 people, would benefit if it was 100% virtualized. So final question for you, we were up on time here, Ken, is you guys have got great growth. What's next, what's around the corner? Can you just give us a, uh, a peek around the corner for you guys? You mentioned messaging, uh, some, some new messaging that might be coming around, but what else, is, what's going to be new for you guys? Well, thank you for acknowledging it. So it's leading the Flash platform transformation. Uh, September 10th, you'll see a big announcement of our channel ecosystem, I appreciate that. You will see denser cards, but uh, more importantly, we're investing all we can in our software. We want to lead that Flash platform transformation. You will see future releases uh, about uh, different availability as far as card management and other sophisticated ways so we can make as seamless as you're used to running your SAN, but for a flash network, a uh, flash network. So having that fabric in place, and again, work, it's addicting work in microseconds. The fact that the product can bring in 50 microseconds versus a familiarity we used to have around four to 10 milliseconds, people are going to like being close to those applications on the consumer side, and uh, it's an exciting time for us. For, the, customer, keep the, for the potential new customers that might not know Viridin, explain to them real quick, we'll give you the final word of the segment. Um, why you've helped other customers that might be like them, and what should they know about Viridin? We'll wrap it up. Okay, great. Uh, on your third generation applications you might have out there, a SQL, a new database that might be in place, Veridin is exactly your choice to put out there. It will give the speed you need that's out there and the familiarity of actually having the data services around our software, Flash Max Connect. If you have an existing second generation application that you'd like to get end of life or a little more kick out of it, a midlife kicker, whether it be Oracle, SAP, we even have a huge uh, use case in uh, one of the largest companies in China just put it in their exchange environment. That's a great use case as well. So today's performance, next generation type performance, but familiarity of data services that you've been around for 15, 20 years. And that's All why right. I think we're leading the Flash platform awesome. transformation, so thank you. Ken, that's awesome. Flash is hot, as I always tell, Dave and I always talk about it. Under the hood is the engine of innovation. The apps are what's driving the car. All the instrumentation's there with big data, and Flash is a big part of it. Congratulations on your success. Watch Viridin, we're going to be watching you guys. Uh, Viridin Inside the Cube, this is uh, John and Dave here. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. <laughs>